Hello, friends. Rise and shine. The world's been turning and everyone is waking. Rise and shine. On this new day, the morning light is breaking. Rise with the rest of our shine. Like a pearl, rise and show your love all around the world. Oh, rise like the bluebird shine, like the sun. Now's the time to rise and shine. Now's the time to rise and shine. Indeed, time to rise and shine. For me, it means something more than just get up and wake up in the morning. It means rise and shine. It means get up and let that beautiful self inside of you glow and shine for everyone else, giving of yourself to other people. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. And how do you do? How do you do is the same as saying, how are you feeling today? Good morning to Vanny. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, Pradeep. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning, Ashraf. Good morning to Ken. Good morning to Jake. Good morning, Sophia. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. And how do you do? Good morning, my friends. I've got this wonderful indigenous flag for Canada. I'm going to remind you there are three groups of people who were the indigenous people of Canada. First Nation, Métis, and Inuit. I think you're getting good at remembering that part. And they were the first people here on this landmass that we now call North America. But as you know, they used to call it Turtle Island. And so we begin by acknowledging that the land that we are hosted on this morning is the land of the Mississaugas of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Wendat. And here where I live at Lake Simcoe, I walk the sacred land of the Chippewa and Ojibwe. We also recognize the enduring presence of all First Nation, Métis, and Inuit peoples. There we go. Nice and sunny this morning and not too hot. It's going to be a beautiful day. Get outside on your bike, on your skateboard, go for a walk, go to the park. It's up to you. There's a place in the sun where there's hope for everyone. Where my poor restless heart has got to run. There's a place in the sun and before my life is done, gonna find me a place in the sun. So let the sun shine in. Face it with a grin. Smilers never lose. And frowners never win. So let the sun shine in. Face it with a grin. Open up your heart and let the sun shine in. Heart. One heart. Feel all right. 
when we get together, even when we're in our virtual class together, just getting together makes us feel all right, doesn't it? Hanging out with your friends, talking on the phone to your friends, FaceTiming your friends, perhaps meeting up at a park, but you're still socially distanced, you still keep your distance. It's great to be with your family and friends. It isn't any trouble just to S-M-I-L-E. It isn't any trouble just to S-M-I-L-E. So if you're feeling troubled, it'll vanish like a bubble. If you only take the trouble just to S-M-I-L-E. Indeed, smile, smile when you meet up with your friends or when you're talking to your friends online or when you're online with your teachers. Smile. Hey, 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 it's just an ordinary day and it's all your state of mind. At the end of the day, you just have to say, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. And that's an important song because right now, we're still kind of in lockdown in that you're not allowed to have people come and visit at your house or you can't go to someone's house. However, the rule has changed in that you can go outside with a group of people of up to 10. You can go and eat a meal on a patio at a restaurant. So perhaps you and your family can go and have a meal at a patio. The swimming pools in Toronto are opening. That's going to be fantastic. You can sign up to go swimming. I think before too long, a lot of the stores are going to start to open up. So you're going to see the change. Continue to wear your mask and to continue to keep some distance from people just to be safe. However, hey, hey. Hey, it's just an ordinary day, and it's all your state of mind. At the end of the day, you just have to say, it's all right. It's all right, it's all right. It's true. You just have to say, it's all right. I'm going to be okay. It's an ordinary day. I'm going to be okay. Dum. Hey, dum, diddly, dum. Hey, dum, diddly, hey, dum, diddly, hey, dum, diddly, dum. Hello, friends, hello. Hello, friends, hello. Hello, friends, hello. Okay, let's get your body moving a little bit, okay? <clears throat> this is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands early in the morning. This is the way we stretch our arms, stretch our arms, stretch our arms. This is the way we stretch our arms early in the morning. This is the way we stretch up high, stretch up high, stretch up high. This is the way we stretch up high early in the morning. Try stomping your feet. This is the way we stomp our feet, stomp our feet, stomp our feet. This is the way we stomp our feet early in the morning. This is the way we roll our arms, roll our arms, roll our arms. This is the way we roll our arms early in the morning. Last one, we're gonna roll our arms out, extend it. This is the way we roll our arms, roll our arms, roll our arms. This is the way we roll our arms early in the morning. Ooh, I gotta shake that out a little bit. Shake, shake, 
shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, wiggle my woggles away. I'm gonna clap, clap, clap my sillies out, clap, clap, clap my sillies out, clap, clap, clap my sillies out, wiggle my woggles away, tap your legs. I'm gonna tap, tap. Tap my sillies out, tap, tap, tap my sillies out, tap, tap, tap my sillies out, wiggle my woggles away, snap, I'm gonna snap, snap, snap my sillies out, snap, snap, snap my sillies out, snap, snap, snap my sillies out, wiggle my woggles away, hooray. This week, I've been talking a little bit, or maybe I, I tend to talk a lot about Canada because I absolutely love talking about the country we live in. I'm just looking for my map to show you. Here it is. My map of Canada. I'm so proud of this wonderful country that we live in. Canada. We have 10 provinces and each color you can see is a different province and we have three territories the Yukon the Northwest Territories and Nunavut we have three oceans the Atlantic Ocean the Pacific Ocean and the Arctic Ocean so let's sing some songs about our beautiful Canada this land is your land this land is my land, from Bonavista to Vancouver Island, from the Arctic Circle to the Great Lake Waters. This land was made for you and me. And from the East Coast, eyes the by that builds the boat, eyes the by that sails her, eyes the by that catches the fish, Takes them home to Lizer. Hip your partner Sally to bow. Hip your partner Sally Brown. Fogo twilling Gabe Morton's Harbor all around the circle. And from Nova Scotia, someone's going out on his boat in the water. The sun was setting in the west. The birds were singing on every tree. All nature seemed inclined for rest, but still there was no rest for me. So farewell to Nova Scotia, the sea-bound coast. Let your mountains dark and drear I be. For when I am far away, on the briny ocean tossed, will you ever heave a sigh or a wish for me? And here's the beautiful province of Quebec, uh, La, Belle, no, La Belle Province, La Belle Province. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, Sana ne matina, sana ne matina, ding dang dong, ding dang dong. And in Ontario, one of the things I love about Ontario is when I get to go on canoe trips up in, nor up in northern Ontario, and I get to see lots of silver birch trees. In Ontario, we have lots of silver birch trees. So for this one, you can pretend you're paddling your oar, or I'd rather your paddle, a canoe paddle. Land of the silver birch, home of the beaver, where stills the mighty moose wanders at bay. Blue lake and rocky shore, I will return once more. Boom diddy yada, boom diddy yada, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's try it again. Land of the silver birch, 
home of the beaver, where still the mighty moose wanders at bay. Blue Lake, rocky shores, I will return once more. Boom, diddy, yada, boom, diddy, yada, boom, 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 boom. That's beautiful. That reminds me of a lot of things that I see in Ontario. Land of the silver birch, silver birch trees, home of the beaver, the beaver, which is the animal on our nickel. We're still the mighty moose, lots of moose in Ontario, especially northern Ontario. Wanders at Blue lakes, lots of gorgeous clean water in Ontario. Blue lakes with rocky shores. It's true. Rocky shorelines. There we go. A few things about Ontario. I also want to show you, I keep talking about Canada. And I just wanted to show you where we are in the world. Here's Canada, and we're on the same land mass called North America as the United States. And this whole land mass, that's the one that I keep telling you. This week I've been teaching you the story that it used to be called Turtle Island. Actually, not used to be. It's still in the creation stories of indigenous people. They call North America Turtle Island. And here's South America and Africa, India, Asia, Europe. And we're way over here in Canada. There we go. Um, now, the other thing that's coming up soon is camp. A lot of students go to camp for the summer, which is fun. So let's do a couple of camp songs. Swimming, swimming in my swimming pool. When days are hot, when days are cold, in my swimming pool. Breaststroke, side stroke, fancy diving too. Oh, don't you wish you never had anything else to do? How about a bumblebee? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be surprised at me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ooh, ee, he stung me. I'm Squashing up my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be surprised at me? I'm squashing up my baby bumblebee. Ooh, e, he's all over me. I'm wiping off my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be surprised at me? I'm wiping off my baby bumblebee. Oh, that's better. In Canada, where we live, I love the flowers. I like the daffodils. I like the mountains. I like the rolling hills. I like the fireside. When the lights are low, boom de yada, boom de yada, boom de yada, boom, 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 boom. So these songs where I'm tapping my legs, we do a lot of those kinds of songs at camp where students tap their legs and sing boom, boom, boom. Like boom, chicka, boom. Boom, chicka, boom. I said boom, chicka, boom. I said boom, chicka, boom. I said, boom, chicka, rocka, chicka, rocka, chicka, boom. Boom, chicka, rocka, chicka, rocka, chicka, boom. Sis, boom, ba. Sis, boom, ba. Boom, 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 my heart goes kaboom. Who stole the cookies from the cookie jar? Well, I don't have any students here. Was it you, Miss Coulterman? Yes, 
<laughs> we can't do that song today because I don't have all of you here. But let's sing it one more time. Boom, 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 my heart goes kaboom. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Was it you, Miss Coulterman? Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Another camp song. Uh, pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. A Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. McDonald's, McDonald's. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. McDonald's, McDonald's. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. Let's go a little bit faster. Shall we try it? Uh, pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. A Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. McDonald's, McDonald's. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. McDonald's, McDonald's. Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. I need a little bit of water. Have a sip of your water now. There we go, a little bit of water every day, my friends, all day. Carry your water bottle around with you. That's what I do, I carry it in every room that I go. Um, let me see, I'm trying to think of some more camp songs. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meat ball when somebody sneezed. Achoo. It rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meat ball rolled out of the door. Goodbye, meatball. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. First you take the peanuts and you pick them, you pick them, you pick them, pick them, pick them, and then you squash them, 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 spread them, spread them, spread them, spread them, spread them. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly, peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Then you take the berries and you pick them, you pick them, you pick them, pick them, pick them, and then you squish them. You squish them, you squish, you squish, you squish them, then you spread them, you spread them, you spread them, spread them, spread them. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, jelly. I know that that's something you can make at your house. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich or peanut butter and jam. In fact, any sandwich, lunch meat and cheese or avocado, tomato, lettuce, all sorts of wonderful sandwiches that you can make by yourself, my friend. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas i like to eat 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 apples and bananas good for you let's do another action song do what i'm doing follow follow me do what i'm doing follow follow me if I sing it high or low, if I sing it fast or slow, do what I'm doing, follow, follow me. Tap your legs, do what I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do what I'm doing, follow, follow me. If I sing it high or low, if I sing it fast or slow, do what I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do what I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do what I'm doing, follow, follow me. If 
If I sing it high or low, if I sing it fast or slow, do what I'm doing, follow, follow me. Let's do some stretching. Do what I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do what I'm doing, follow, follow me. If I sing it high or low, if I sing it fast or slow, do what I'm doing, follow, follow me. Good for you. Loosen it up a little bit. There we go. Well, some of you might be going on special outings in the summer, and maybe even the zoo is going to open soon. I think it might. I think I heard that on the news. Mama's taking us to the zoo tomorrow. Zoo tomorrow. Zoo tomorrow. Mama's taking us to the zoo tomorrow. We can stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come too, too, too. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Ooh, try making that sound with your mouth. Ooh. How about zoom? We're going to make the mm lip closure. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Let's go. Counting backwards from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! Let's do it again, and this time, let's count by twos to 30. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Let's go by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty. Good for you. Let's do it one more time. Let's count backwards from 20. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. And if you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Let's go backwards from 20. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! I want to do it one more time, counting by 5 all the way to 100. You can do it, my friend. Let's start with Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. And if you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Let's go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Blast off. Good for you counting along with me. All things on earth shall pass under the sky, but music alone shall live. Music alone shall live, music alone shall live and never die. Keep the music going, my friends. Keep singing at your house or playing an instrument or 
listening to music or, or dancing to music, sing, hum. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is good for you, Friday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Good for you, Saturday. And yesterday was Thursday. Awesome. Thursday. And we know that today is Friday and the month is June. Let's try snapping. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. And today is number 11. Friday, June 11, or in ordinal numbers, we say 11th. So we add the th. Let's count in ordinal numbers to 11. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and eleventh. So today is Friday, June 11th. Well, I've got a few cool things to show you today. First of all, I wanted to tell you about this. This beautiful painting is of dragonflies. And dragonflies come around in the summer months. And they're actually a beautiful insect because they eat mosquitoes. And if they're busy eating mosquitoes, then the mosquitoes aren't busy eating you. But as an assignment that I think I'd love you to do, I would like you to take that image. You can try drawing this at your house. So if you want to stop the video now and make a drawing of this, you can two circles and a, a body shape in the middle. One, two, three, four wings on a dragonfly. And there's a couple of things you could do with these dragonflies. The first, we've talked a lot about patterning. And if you look closely at these dragonflies, they look like they have beautiful patterns on their wings. I love the patterns. So I was thinking, if you have a picture of a dragonfly, first of all, if you wish, you could just color it in. That's your choice. You could color it in. Number two, you could paint it if you want. That's your choice. But if you wanted to also take your marker and start patterning the way they made a pattern on the wings. For example, on my dragonfly, I'm going to make a circle and a wave. Circle. And my wave is sort of like an S shape. And I'm going to try it again. Circle, wave, circle, wave. So there's a pattern I could make. And over here, I'm going to try another pattern. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Dot, dot, square. Dot, dot, square. Dot, dot, square. Dot, dot. It's your choice. You can make your own patterns. Dot, dot, square. Dot, dot, square. Dot, dot, square. Dot, dot. 
So that's one suggestion. You could make a, well, several suggestions. You could color it in with markers. You could paint it with painting. You could make your own designs on it. You could make your own patterns. Here I'm gonna just make some lines for his body. And perhaps, even if you don't want to make a pattern, you could just make some really interesting designs like a spiral, spiral, spiral. Here, you can start to see how the dragonfly comes along in terms of looking decorative. And this is something you could do at your house. I think I'm also going to put some googly eyes on this guy. Well, I want to show you one other option for a dragonfly. Here's my dragonfly for today. And in my sensory box today, I have some Q-tips. Because I think Q-tips are fun to work with. You could use them with your watercolors painting, or you could use them with regular paints. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. I've got this gorgeous, red color. So that's the one I'm going to use first. There we go. So you've got your dragonfly. And I'm just going to do dot, 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 dot. There's a design too. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Dot, 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 dot. Then I'm going to change it up a little bit. Now I'm going to add a little bit of pink because I just love this summer pink color. Same idea, I'm gonna use my Q-tip because it's such a great fine motor task, holding it in your fingers, okay? And dip it in your pink paint. Dot, 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 dot 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 there we go i'm going to try it a little bit more with another pink one dot 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 mm -hmm. there we go or you can make any design you want with your q-tip okay you could make a picture of anything with some paint and some q-tip Another thing that I have in my sensory box is some of this came in the mail the other day, this plastic bubble wrap. Sometimes it comes wrapped around an item. In fact, I think I got it at the dollar store, uh, like wrapped around something. And this is a good sensory activity. Popping, popping, popping all these little tiny bubbles of air. Pop, pop. It's good for your fine motor. And do it with both hands. Sometimes you get these items free. Like this one came around something I got at the dollar store. So I'm using it again. I'm, I'm going to also use it for painting another day. Remember I suggested to you Go to the dollar store and buy yourself a fan for the summer. You're going to want it because it 
it cools you off on these hot days. Red and yellow, pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a pride rainbow for you. That's that activity. Let's circle back to this activity from yesterday. In the indigenous tradition, they believe in seven sacred teachings. Some people call it the seven grandfather teachings. And yesterday I kind of got mixed up in this book. I was doing it incorrectly. So I decided to research it a little bit more. And these are the symbols inside the book. There's an, an animal for each symbol, an animal, and there's a special trait or a teaching. So for example, the buffalo teaches us to have respect. Respect for your parents, your brothers and sisters, your teachers, your your grandpas and grandmas and aunts and uncles and and friends. Show respect. Treat other people the way you would want to be treated. The bear. The bear is for courage. Try to have courage and try some new things in life. The wolf. The wolf is the teaching of humility. And this is really good because that's sort of that ability to, to be able to laugh at yourself. Even if you make some mistakes, that's okay. And humility, this particular one is also about, a, a wolf is always, a wolf always stays by its pack and takes care of the pack. And I think this is also the symbol for taking care of other people, your family, your close friends, being kind, taking care of the people close to you. These, like I said, these are often called the seven grandfather teachings. The eagle, the eagle is all about love. There is only love, my friends. Love is the only answer. Love is the way to go. Love, 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 love. Let our circle grow. It seems to me that everything else, kindness and joy and all of these teachings, come from a sense of love loving yourself so that you can then love others. The turtle is for truth. Yeah, the seeing the truth. I guess truth and honesty, this creature is a, it can be a four-legged animal, but it's up on two legs, the sabe. It represents honesty. And honesty and truth are kind of connected in a way. Being honest, being true, not lying, not telling stories, not making up a lie, telling the truth, and being true to yourself, who you truly are. And the beaver, the beaver represents wisdom. And I see that in all of you students. Throughout the summer, I want you to continue to use your mind to really, really problem solve and think things out for yourself. That's being, using your wisdom. These are such beautiful teachings. And I love how they're very connected to the animals. Okay. Well, my friends, during the summer holidays, quite a few times, you might 
ask your family if there's something you can do or something you can have. And your family might have to say no. For example, let's say I, oh, I really want to buy a new bicycle. And my husband says, Miss Coulterman, I don't think you really need another bicycle. You've already got a bicycle. It's working really good. Why would you need another bicycle? So I have to learn to accept being told, no, I can't get a new bike, even though I really want it. So I'm going to help you by reading this little story with you. It's called Accepting No. And I'm the same. I have to learn to accept being told no. For example, maybe you want to go to the mall. Maybe you want to go to the coffee shop. Maybe you want to go downtown on the TTC. Maybe you want to go to the park by yourself or go to a friend's house and your family say no. Maybe you want to buy a new video game or buy a new CD of music and your family says no. I can accept being told no. I might not like being told no, but I have to stay calm and not get angry or upset. So, for example, if my husband says, no, Ms. Golderman, you can't have a new bike. You already have a bicycle. You don't need another bike. I can't get angry and mad and stomp away. I have to try to just be calm. I have to understand what no means. When I am told no, I have choices I can make. This is important for you. We all have choices that we can make. I can ask nicely if I can choose something else or have what I want a little bit later. Now this would apply, for example, let's say you want to go out for an ice cream cone and your family says no. It's possible you might be able to go another time. So what she's saying here is perhaps wait till another time when you could have the ice cream cone. I can also calmly talk about how I'm feeling. I think this is important. Even though your family might say to you, no, I think it's good if you say, you can say back to them, I understand what you're saying to me, but I'm still a little sad inside that I'm not getting what I want. But thank you for sharing. Um, you can exp still explain that you're feeling sad. For example, I really want the new bicycle, but my husband says, no, Miss Goldman, you don't need another bicycle. You already have one that works. Okay, I understand. I understand what you're saying. I'm still feeling really sad and hurt because that's something I really wanted. But it's okay. I understand. Okay? We sort of have to rehearse this, practice it a little bit so that you get good at it. Because your immediate reaction is... Oh, I don't want to get angry at you. I'm mad at you. You said I couldn't have a bicycle. But it's good if you try to have some self-control and think about it. Oh, here's an interesting idea, too. If I'm feeling upset or hurt, you can write about it. It's a, That's a great idea. So I could go upstairs and write in my journal about how I'm feeling today. Oh, I'm feeling really sad and upset that my husband wouldn't let me buy the new bicycle. And sometimes just writing about it in a book, in my journal, or a diary, or a piece of paper, whatever you have, I think that helps. It helps you to calm down 
and feel better. So that's all about accepting the word no. Now, I'm going to circle back to some things that we talked about this week. It's Friday today, so I like to circle back to some of the things we talked about. One of the things we talked about is up in the territories of Canada, Nunavut, Northwest Territories, and the Yukon, they often see these gorgeous northern lights up in the sky. They're just so pretty. And I read you this story about two Ojibwe sisters. They're called Sky Sisters. This book is called Sky Sisters. And they want to go on a journey walking, walking, walking quietly through the night until they find the sky spirits, the northern lights. And from this book, I learned three indigenous words. Nishime, Nishime is younger sister. Nimise is older sister. And Nokomis, Nokomis is grandmother. So those were some indigenous words I learned this week. I also introduced you to a Canadian artist named Ted Harrison. And he liked to paint beautiful pictures of Canada. He's from the Yukon, actually, in the same area where those northern lights are from. And you can see he used lots of colors in his paintings and the sunshine or the moon, the mountains, the water. That's a Ted Harrison painting. So yesterday, and maybe you're working on one at your house, I made a sun and I painted, I painted some earth and some grass and some rays of sunlight to kind of duplicate what Ted Harrison paints. He likes to paint with colors, mountains and sunlight. And so I painted a Ted Harrison painting. Maybe you painted it too at your house. I want to show you two new artists. These are Indigenous artists from Ontario, the province that we live in. This is a painting. I hope I get his name right. Jim Oskinigish. Oskinigish. Jim Oskinigish. And I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. But his paintings are so cool because look how he's got the beautiful turtle from the creation story of Turtle Island. And another, there are two brothers actually in one family, Josh, jo, um, Josh and Joyce Kakagamic. Kakagamic. I really hope I'm saying that correctly. I apologize. You know, I've never been good with names. And, and those two brothers love to paint in Ontario. They love to paint the beautiful woodlands that they see and the animals that they see. And look at, here's a beautiful eagle. One of the seven sacred teachings uses the eagle. Such beautiful color. I just love all of these indigenous paintings with color. But also, another thing that the indigenous culture created, oh, I hope I have it here. I wanted to show you that they also did a lot of carvings. Well, they also created, out of rock, these beautiful structures. The Inui of the far north created these beautiful 
rock structures called anukshaks. And the anukshak, they would put it in the direction to help the person to know how to get to a close village or town. Yeah, I can't find the one I'm looking for. Oh well, I'm gonna go ahead then with something else. I found it. So there's lots of indigenous paintings, drawings, weaving. See, we've done some weaving. They do beautiful weaving. They do beautiful work with beads and making beautiful clothing. And they also do beautiful carving. This is carved out of wood. Beautiful carving of a whale. You can see the image of a whale. Beautiful. And I also, this week, talked to you about totem poles. The totem poles are characteristic of the northwest coast of Canada. Remember I showed you this totem pole? It's got various animals on it. And a totem pole is sort of like writing a book. It A totem pole tells the story of the people of their life, of the people who lived there, the people who lived long ago. For the most part, the totem poles were made from giant red cedar trees because on the west coast of Canada, those trees grow very, very tall. And I love tall, tall trees. When I visit the west coast, I love seeing the tall trees. And they carve their totem poles right into the tree. They use all sorts of animals, eagle and beaver and bear and turtle, all sorts of images. And they always had them facing towards the ocean so that if people arrived by, by water, they would see the totem pole and they would know who lives in that village and they would know the story of those people. So pretty. Here's one that shows you just a little bit closer some of the faces, some of the images that you see on a totem pole. Really cool. Now I was going to do some math, but I'm thinking because it's Friday, I'm going to wait till Monday. I'll wait till Monday on that one. I also wanted to show you that for our class, I got two new kits. We already have one drill kit in our class, and I decided to buy two more. So now lots of students can be working with a drill at the same time, putting screws into or out of this board. So we've got two more drill sets. Now, in the totem pole story that I've been telling you, the west coast of Canada has very, very tall, tall trees. So I decided yesterday, I painted the background for this paper, the blue for the sky, then I painted some tall, brown trees and this you could do at your house it's the same thing that you could do at your house and the last thing i want to show you is something you could do you could either use green paint to make your trees but i thought it might be fun to use a green dabber a green dabber because it's just something interesting that I think you can do. I'm gonna try to hold this up for you to show you. And put green, green, green all around on your trees. Green, green, lots of green. Or the 
these tall, tall trees. Tall, tall trees. There we go. And just keep filling in the trees, my friend. In fact, you could even go down a little bit on the page. It doesn't have to be just at the top that you have the green leaves. We could have them at the bottom, or rather halfway, halfway up your painting. Lots and lots of green. And I know that all of you love using these bingo dabbers. And that's how you could create your picture for Canada's forest. The lid on. Now I just want to close with a book that I have here at my house. This is a book that I read to my grandchildren, but I think it's still because it's here at my house. I don't have a lot of my teaching resources at my house, so I have to use whatever I have. And this book says, Good night, Canada but it shows you some pictures from all across Canada. I thought that might be nice to close with today. I'm in bed in my house when the land, where the land meets the sea. So the land meets the sea, perhaps out in Newfoundland. I think so. It could be Newfoundland. Oh, yes, here we go. It's Newfoundland and Labrador. There's two names, but it's the same province. Two names, two places, but it's the same province. Newfoundland and Labrador. I see the ocean. I see the little houses that are all different colors. And he's starting a journey in his boat. And he's going across Canada. So you're going to see the adventures he has across Canada. First he says, good night, Nova Scotia. I see the Nova Scotia flag. Here's the lighthouse. The lighthouse is close to the water and it tells the boats if they're getting close. It's a light that shines to tell the boats they're getting close to the shoreline. In Nova Scotia, I see the rocks along the shoreline. And it says, good night, Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward Island is one of the provinces it's rather flat, just like this, and it's nice farming land, and they have nice red sand on their beach. Red soil. PEI, Prince Edward Island, is fun for farming. The next one says, good night, New Brunswick, and in New Brunswick, the, the tide of the ocean comes up high and then when it goes back out again, the tide goes out, it forms these beautiful, we call them flower pots, to tell you the truth. They look like flower pots, don't they? But the trees still grow up at the top. The water comes up when the wide tide comes in and then the water goes out again. Good night, Quebec. Bon nuit. Good night. And here's the Quebec flag. They're flying over. They're flying over top of Quebec. Oh, and good night, Ontario. This is the province that we live in. You guys know this one. In Toronto, this is the CN Tower. And good night, Manitoba. 
Manitoba is the province right beside Ontario. And look, up in northern Manitoba, you can see the northern lights. And it looks like in northern Manitoba, they also have a very cold climate. I see polar bears and snow and ice. Good night, Saskatchewan. And this province is very flat and you see all the farms and you see wheat growing, wheat and oats and corn and um, barley, but definitely lots of wheat growing in Saskatchewan, lots of farms. And this one says, good night, Alberta. Alberta is the next province beside Saskatchewan. And in Alberta, I see the mountains, the Rocky Mountains in the distance, and I see farms and animals, farm animals, and buffalo. I see the buffaloes. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word. That's all I remember of that song. Good night, British Columbia. This is where I was telling you along the coast of British Columbia, they have these tall, tall trees where they the indigenous people created totem poles. They've got ocean water coming in. This looks like Vancouver Island over here. So this is the inlet between British Columbia and Vancouver Island. And I see whales. Then it says going up north. Up north of British Columbia is the Yukon. I see it's cold and snowy and mountains. And that's also where you see the northern lights. Good night, Northwest Territories. And here's an anukshuk of rocks. I see some rock mountains and water and ice. And the last one, the last territory is Nunavut. Good night, Nunavut. There's the flag for Nunavut. And then it says, good night, world. We're saying good night from Canada. Well, it's time to say goodbye, friends. And I'll see you this afternoon online. Have a great weekend also. Friends, I will remember you, think of you, play with you. And when another day is through, I'll still be friends with you. Go create joy, my friends, and get outside. It's a gorgeous day. Bye-bye.